Hey, what's up guys? Joe Elements here once again and today we are talking about the Zeiss Otis 55mm f1.4. Um, this is a long overdue review, um, approximately about um, four weeks ago that was supposed to come out. Um, what I was trying to do is get my hands on the full lens set that I was actually looking for, which is um, the 85, the 28 and the 55. Um, unfortunately, I have not been able to get that yet. Um, these lenses are very, very on the pricey side. Um, the 55 cost me almost £3,000, as you're aware of these lenses. Um, used right now, you can pick them up there in about um, £1,000, £6,000 to £2,000, depending on the condition. Um, I decided to buy it new just because um, I'm looking at um, insuring the whole kit and also set it up for rentals. And so that's why I'm looking to get the three lens set. Unfortunately, as I said, I haven't been able to get the remaining two yet. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the review on the 55 mil that I have. So the 55 mil is an F1.4 and so is the 85 and the 28 mil as well. The 55 mil also consists of 12 iris blades in 10 groups. Also, it's a whopping weight of 1,030 grams. So it is a very beefy lens, bigger than the average 50 mil, 55 mil lenses on the market. Um, the durability of this lens, the lens is actually made out of complete metal, including the lens hood. I mean, if you hold it, you can tell that it is actually a very durable lens and very well constructed. I mean, this is a lens that Zeiss decided to say, you know what, to the engineers, go ahead and build us the best lens um, that you can build with the tech that we have at that time, and then also try and make it as cheap as possible. Um, this lens, the Otis, is actually very comparable to the Supreme, with the exception of not having the um, the focus gearing on there and then the manual iris control. The focus on this lens actually is a 250 degree throw and this is exactly what you want for filmmaking. I was quite surprised when um, this lens was actually launched um, towards photographers uh, because it's manual focus and then also the image clarity. A lot of filmmakers have actually gone out and fished these lenses up, comparing them to the Supreme Zeiss lenses, which are over 20,000 pounds per lens. The unfortunate thing is that this lens is actually limited to just two mounts, which is the Canon EF and then the Nikon F mount. Um, the Nikon F mount is not really popular in the industry of filmmaking, but we know that the EF mount is very widely popular. And so I picked up the EF mount. Having said that, the Nikon mount actually, there are adapters and converters that you can actually convert them into a PL or an EF mount, but obviously you lose all the metadata connections. The front filter thread is actually 77 millimeters wide, which means it's very near to standard um, to pick up a good ND filter or to pick up a good polarizer and protect the front element. Um, making it 77 millimeter wide, it's very close to 80 mil or a 90 mil for matte box um, fitting. Um, in this case, I have picked up myself one of those Tilta uh, mini matte boxes and with this step up ring, it's easily adapted and mounted on. Duclox actually uh, makes an adapter that sits in front of it and converts the front, which is ready to be clipped onto a 90 mil matte box. When we talk about the front, we do not forget about the back end. This lens diameter actually covers a full frame very easily, um, all the way up to Alexa 65 and the Red Monstro. So it's very, very much Vista Vision ready and it is future proof as well. This glass was actually designed to be able to handle 8K and above of resolution. And so pairing it with the Red Komodo is no brainer to get the stunning images as you see. The images that this lens produces is stunning. Everything is tack sharp. I mean, I'm not gonna be pixel peeping, but it's one of the best, if not the sharpest lens around currently as we speak at that price tag. 
I mean, I have used the Zeiss CP2s and the CP3s, which I have personally owned as well. But moving on to the Otis has made me realize that there are actually better glass out there for that price tag. And so I am going to play you a sequence of shots that's been taken with the Red Komodo pairing it with this Zeiss Otis 55mm lens. You be the judge for yourself and comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. If there is any other further in-depth review that you want me to do on this lens, let me know in the comments below and I will catch you on the next one. Stay tuned. Peace.